Recently, the Insurance Insider released data on mergers and acquisitions in the insurance industry. They report 91 deals through the first half of 2013, 33 involving carriers, 46 among brokers, and 11 involving legacy carriers. Here to discuss M&A activity in more detail is Scott Littlejohn. He is head of U.S. Insurance Investment and Corporate Banking at BMO Capital Markets and joins us from the NASDAQ market site in New York. Scott, welcome to the program. Thank you. Glad to be here. Are you surprised at all by the M&A activity in the sector so far, or is this in line with expectations? Well, look, we've been involved in a lot of the activity to date, so I wouldn't say it's a surprise. I mean, we kind of live and breathe the activity. We represented a buyer in a couple of the uh, transactions that were announced recently. Our buyer wasn't the winner, um, but uh, no, we expect to see more activity. What is having the biggest impact on activity right now? <laughs> well, it's hard to pick one factor. Um, you know, I think that generally it's optimism if I had to pick one thing. I mean, it's always, you know, there's a lot of psychology involved when you think about M&A. Um, and it's people's view of the future oftentimes. And, and there is this greater optimism, I'd say, generally speaking. Uh, you know, whether you look at the economy, whether you look at capital positions, whether you look at operating results, um, you know, things have improved. And that's led to this, this improved view of the future, like I said, this sense of optimism. Because when you do a deal, I mean, you look at the current impact, but you also think about how it impacts your prospects compared to the standalone. So I think it's really that optimism that's created this uh, real catalyst for, for activity. How have regulations affected M&A activity? Well, when you say regulations, I guess, you know, you really think about the capital requirements, which uh, have become more conservative, I guess, is the way to think about it uh, on a few levels, right? I mean, in this industry, in the insurance industry that we follow, uh, the rating agencies oftentimes act as regulator in terms of the way they, um, you know, evaluate the credit, uh, credit and capital positions of the uh, companies that we follow. And uh, since the financial crisis, there's there's definitely been a, a greater scrutiny, higher level of conservatism, and uh, as a result, you know, we talked before about how you compare today on my standalone basis, how, do, how can I do relative to selling the company? When you compare how you can do today on your own, you look at your cost of capital, you discount back the future, and uh, again, with this higher cost of capital, frankly, in some ways, it makes it harder to justify that standalone uh, situation. So uh, in, that, in that sense, again, we think this scrutiny, this regulation has been a catalyst for activity as well. What can we expect in the M&A space over the next few months into 2014? <laughs> well, look, I, it's, it's, um, it's been busy, as I said before. I mean, we're, we're very involved. We've probably spent about two-thirds of our time on M&A. Um, you know, what, what you've seen in the past, I think, will continue over the next few months. Uh, there's been activity in fixed annuities, obviously. There's been private equity firms that have been very active there, and we think that'll continue. Um, there's been a few non-core assets that have been sold. Allstate sold a non-core asset. Um, Genworth sold a non-core asset management business. I think you'll see more of that pruning, rationalizing, so to speak. And then there's just selective add-ons, you know, where people see growth opportunities. Uh, uh, international markets, for example, Lloyd's has been a hotbed of activity. We think that'll continue. And other certain sectors, like I said, that are attractive add-ons, we think, uh, you know, you'll continue to see that. Scott, thank you for joining us. <laughs> My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Scott will be part of an insurance M&A symposium being hosted by SNL in October. For more information on the symposium, visit the SNL website.